The car as presented on the grid was sort of the weirdest thing we'd really seen. He's very old school, very mechanical. It's got a normal clutch, a four-speed transmission, the front engine, manual transmission, a nine-inch rear end, simple brakes, simple stuff. It was designed by Tommy Riggins in the early 90s. In 1994, the owner of the car, Bruce Tenery, decided to turn the car into a top-open car. He raced four times at the 24 hours of Daytona and three times at Sebring, and it always finished. There's never been anything like it. And with one-offs, very important, because normally those cars disappear and they get broken up, sold off for spares, and there's no more car. No one had tried to make a front-engine world sports car. Still the cars racing today on the plateau called Endurance Racing Legend by Peter Otto. In 2012, he was invited to the anniversary parade, the 50 years of Daytona. The car is a strange looking thing. Nobody had any idea what it would go like. And it's a big, strong car. So you feel pretty safe in it. Much easier to drive than you'd think it would be. We ran with some far more powerful cars and gave them something to think about. 